everybody. Today I'm going to be talking about um, Polish and Sonnert's Trap Between Obstruents um, in Polish um, Onset Complex. Complex Onset Clusters. Um, so a little bit of background. Polish is a consonantal language um, and is known for its um, large amount of consonant phonemes and also having complex initial clusters. Uh, so it's not surprising that Polish has um, words like trzeciutka, <laughs> which contain initial onset clusters, um, which contain an initial onset clusters with sonorants trapped between um, two obstruents. This uh, initial onset cluster seems to violate the sonority sequencing principle, um, a language universal, universal that states that every syllable exhibits exactly one peak of sonority contained in the nucleus. Um, something connected to this sonority sequencing principle is the sonority hi um, hierarchy, um, which indicates the ranking of segments um, from most sonorous to least sonorous. Um, so, vowels are most sonorous, so they would be considered the least marked phoneme to be in the nucleus of a syllable. Um, so as previously mentioned, um, initial onsets like the word drazetka contain trap sonorants um, that violate the sonority sequencing principle. Uh, this violation is caused by the trapped sonorants, uh, whose high sonority value motivates this initial syllable to have more than one peak. Um, this can be seen in the word bloody. Within the onset cluster, the voiced alveolar trill R um, forms a sonority peak between the two voiceless feeler stops k and voiceless feeler um, labiodental fricative so that can be seen here right here um, because the voiced alveolar trill is a sonorant and therefore holds more sonority than its neighboring obstruents the initial constant cluster increases and then decreases in sonority all before the nucleus of a syllable, which is ah. Um, the initial consonant cluster um, then uh, would be considered to violate the sonority sequencing principle. Um, or, so it may seem, it's also possible that they're not uh, complex clusters at all, but instead are unstressed are an unstressed syllable within the word and therefore follow the SSP. So although it's more marked, sonorants can be the nucleus of a syllable. So um, we know this because it's seen in other languages, just like English. Um, uh, in English, we have uh, liquids um, that can be uh, the nucleus of a syllable. So, for example, in the word runner. Um, so even though vowels are most uh, most likely to be in the um, nucleus of a syllable, liquids can as well. Um, so maybe that's what's happening in Polish. Um, um, so to find this out, I'm going to be using optimality theory uh, to analyze the uh, Polish words including words that do not have um, trap sonorants in their initial onset to make sure the rankings of constraints are optimal. Uh, while, this may, may, while it may seem that initial onset clusters are violating the SSP, it's more likely that these clusters are forming the unstressed syllable within the word instead. This theory will be tested through OT analysis. This study will give us a greater insight into the Polish language, specifically how sonorants, um, how sonorous a phoneme must be in order to be included in the nucleus of a syllable. Thank you so much.